read a, quite a bit about you and I understand that you have traveled the mm -hmm. world quite a bit. Now, wh what is your favorite, who, you know, where is your favorite city and why? Um, I have a few favorite cities. I think actually London, you know, I feel like I, this is my home now, you know, and I absolutely love the city. I think it's absolutely vibrant and, you know, multicultural. There's so much, you know, which I love about London. Definitely my hometown back in um, Russia, Vladivostok, it's a seaport and it's a very unique place as well. But one of the most unique places I've ever been to is Tokyo. And I love Japanese food. I love the cultural um, uh, side of, of this country. I think everything about Japan in Tokyo is fascinating so I spent quite a lot of time there when I was competing doing shows and teaching and it's definitely one of the places you always want to go back so you've just answered my next question which was going to be what is your favorite food for all the food lovers out yeah. there and you've said Japanese food yes I think anything to do with sort of seafood um, fish I mean Japanese food is fantastic and obviously when you in, um, in in Japan you know if you ever traveled there people could agree with me that it's wonderful really wonderful places there to eat even the smallest little tiniest cafes um, absolutely fantastic so and are you good at cooking Japanese food no I'm not actually you know I do cook I cook for myself all the time you know and it's um, quite basic stuff you know like I don't like to make anything too rich too complicated you know it's kind of sort of um, vegetables with fish you know maybe baked you know and, and um, nothing fried nothing like that but I would love to actually maybe take some courses on Japanese food you know at some point someday <laughs> oh that would be lovely you when you get to know how to do sushi and everything yeah, when you get a chance from your busy yes. life now also, um, to let our viewers know, not only do you dance, travel the, you know, the country, you also have your own charity yes. for children. Can you just let us know about that and let us know that I understand you'll be having a ball coming up mm -hmm. soon and, mm -hmm. you know, more about your charity for children, which I think um. is... Very inspirational. <laughs> yes, this is something I really enjoy doing. I think it really um, fulfills me, you know, it's a passion I have. And um, I helped lots of charities um, since I moved to the UK and was a uh, Princess Trust ambassador for a few years and did a lot of uh, for breast cancer research. But then this charity approached me. It's called .com, CF .org, .com Children's Foundation. So if you want to check our work, please go to .com, CF .org and see what we do. We basically deliver a program to schools and mostly to schools in very deprived areas. We work with um, very damaged, I would say bullied, um, abused children and we give them uh, tools how to communicate, how to come out of the shell, how to feel safe, how to communicate with adults if they feel um, that there is something wrong happening with them. Because children are uh, children in this situation, they are silent victims. You know, they don't like to talk about the problems or if they actually have any kind of abuse at home or in the peer group because they feel like in some way maybe it's the fault. You know, so um, I've met the CEO of this charity five years ago and we just become very close you know and shared our stories our childhood stories with one another and I just started help, helping out first with just going to schools and having chats with children and sort of doing motivational speaking and then after that became a trustee then resigned as a trustee now I'm a patron of the foundation wow so, yes it's sort of been a long time um, passion of mine you know we really love the work we do and it's rolled out across the UK now and um, this year it's 35,000 children going through that um, program and we're obviously hoping that it's gonna, we're going to raise a lot of money at my next ball which is going to take place at the Mansion House on the 14th of September and spread the word and spread more of our sort of good deeds across the country.